Get this, your tap water totally sucks, and I wanna encourage you to drink better water. We all know the importance of hydration. It's so good for our bodies, for our energy. Our bodies are made up of water, but the problem is, if you're drinking water that's just straight up not good, that's contaminated, that doesn't have the right things, you can be doing harm to your body instead of benefit. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my suggestions on what good clean water is. Some of the best filters that you can use for you and your family to ensure you're getting clean water. But first, I wanna start with some of the history and the politics. Here in the United States, there was something called the Safe Water Drinking Act that was published in 1974 by the Environmental Protection Agency. And the intention of this act was to regulate our water and make sure that when Americans turned on their faucets, good water came out. So they looked at 90 different chemicals, bacteria, fungus, et cetera, and they really wanted to make sure they limit those. And they went to the different water suppliers in local areas and made sure that they were up to standards. But the problem is that act was in 1974 and it really hasn't been updated much since. Industrial manufacturing has continued to boom, and today there are over 80,000 new industrial chemicals used in all four sorts of manufacturing processes that are now in our water. And it is not covered by this act, and it's not currently being regulated by the EPA. So the lid off this whole Safe Water Drinking Act kind of blew up in California around the year 2000. Because around California, they have a lot of different contract weapons manufacturers and they use a lot of rocket fuel. And there's a particular chemical from rocket fuel called perchlorate. And basically what they found is that perchlorate from all these rocket sites had gone into the ground, into the reservoirs, and even got it into Lake Mead, this picturesque reservoir that supplies basically a lot of the Southwest United States. And this chemical perchlorate is super toxic to humans. It actually prevents iodine from being uptake into your thyroid and was super important for all of your metabolism, especially for pregnant women and children. And the EPA ended up testing people and they found that perchlorate was present in 45 states and in every single person that they tested. And so this is a big problem and there was millions of dollars of lawsuits and they're still to this day trying to find limitations on how to keep perchlorate out of the national water supply and California started to put in more restrictions. But perchlorate's just one of these 80,000 chemicals. And there's a nonprofit that came up called the Environmental Workers Group, the EWG, that basically did a survey of all the tap water across the entire United States. And I actually want you to go to this website right now in a new tab while you're listening to me, ewg.org forward slash tap water, all one word. And I want you to type in your zip code and it's gonna pull up your actual water testing levels that the EWG did and their latest update was in 2021. So this is very relevant stuff. Because what the EWG found is effectively that there's tons of other chemicals inside our water supplies that are not being covered by this act. And if you're in the habit of just taking straight up tap water, this stuff is getting into your body. Stuff like fluorine, chloride, arsenic, nitrates, chloroform, and the list goes on. There's so many of these different chemicals that are in our waters. And now certain of these filters do take some of this stuff out, but not all of it. And I actually wanna show you a screenshot from the water in my local area here in Arizona. Check this out. In my local area in Phoenix, Arizona, there is 1,266 times the amount of arsenic that the EWG sees from the studies is healthy. That is in our water because it's in our ground and stuff like this, it's local. There is over 20 times of a particular kind of hexavalent chromium that is linked to cancer. There's 121 times of a haloacetic acid, which is a byproduct of chlorination of the water. There is 16 times more nitrate, 2.2 times more radium. The point is tap water in Arizona is not great. And this is just one place and our water is not even terrible. I also entered in the details of Manhattan and New York, just to show you them. Manhattan and New York has 73 times bromodichloromethane, which is a flame retardant, one of those industrial chemicals used everywhere. It is not good for you. 80 times more chloroform than you want in your water. 2.1 times of that chromium hexavalent, 892 times of these haloacetic acids. Point being, this is not the pure water that our bodies are naturally designed to have. I'm gonna tell you what to do in just a second, but I really wanna urge you to check out your water in your area so you can just get very clear that tap water straight doesn't cut it. And I'm sure you've had the experience, maybe when you went to a restaurant and they give you that glass of water and you take a sip of it and you're like, hmm, doesn't taste exactly great. Or maybe you've had a bottle of water and you're like, wow, this tastes much better, but you also know that plastic might not be the best option for you either. So you gotta have a solution for you and your family. 
So what I suggest is that you do get a filter, and there are a couple different kinds of filters. The lowest on the totem pole are these basic carbon filters, or these charcoal filters. Many people call them Brita's, which is one of the main brands that people have. You pour your water in, you keep the Brita in the sink, and it filters out some stuff. It's really good for removing the chlorine from the water, but it doesn't, it misses some things like fluoride, which is neurotoxic. I don't recommend you get that in your body, as well as some of these other smaller chemicals that doesn't filter that out. So it's good if you do something, but I recommend you go even deeper and get a more robust filter. So right here, I have something called a Berkey filter. These are like the gold standard of the countertop filters. They're great. They have really heavy duty uh, filtration. It's like a very slow drip and it gets rid of like 99.9% .9 of all these industrial chemicals and contaminants. So it is a good option. You can also look into something in your house like a reverse osmosis filtration system. They're typically over a thousand bucks and they're expensive, they're bulky, but they remove pretty much everything, including the minerals, and you wanna add some minerals back in if you have that. But the point is, get something today. Make sure you get something in place to look at your water and improve it. Because I promise you this, if you are drinking lots of water and hydrating, but there's a lot of BS in your water, you could be doing yourself some legitimate harm. And a lot of these chemicals are cancer causing. A lot of these chemicals do disrupt your endocrine system. A lot of these chemicals are affecting your kids. And so this is something you're doing every single day and you're focusing on doing good things. So it'd be a real shame if you're just trying to drink a lot of good healthy water and giving chemicals. That's why I wanna bring some awareness to this issue. So my call to action for this video for you is to check out some of the recommended water filters in the description. Now these are, we're not affiliated with any of these. These are just some people that we've used and we recommend and you can check out. And I also want you to go to ewg.org forward slash tap water and check your local area. And if you do, once you do, comment below with some of the things that you see in your local tap water. I'd be really curious to hear based on your zip code and where you live, as well as if you have any kind of filters that you, are, you think are very good for your family, comment below so we can continue this discussion. Fact is, today's day and age, we live in a complicated world. There are lots of environmental pollutants. We have to do more steps to keep ourselves and our families healthy. And with something as fundamental as water, I believe it should be a top priority on your list. So I hope you found this valuable, my friend. Thanks for being here on this video. We're gonna be publishing a few new videos on water over the coming weeks and months because it's such an important topic. And I'm actually gonna show you some ideas on how to supercharge your water with some local household ingredients coming up very soon. Things like lemon and a couple other key ingredients. So keep your eyes out for this video. And if you wanna make sure you're notified when we publish new videos, hit the subscribe button so you're notified when we publish videos. We have over 500 videos across our Fit Father and Fit Mother channels and you get access to all those when you get subscribed, so that's really great. And if you found this useful, and you learned something new today and you're really just jazzed up about the idea that humans should drink pure water, then hit the thumbs up button, give this a like because it helps spread across YouTube or wherever you're watching this and that gets more people to see this information because we need to know. And of course, if you're outside the United States, the story is probably pretty similar. I mean, US, we do try to regulate a lot of things and there's a chance that if you live in Europe, you might have more stringent regulations on some of these things, but if you live outside of Europe, your water might be even worse than where we're at. So this still does apply to you even if you're not in the US, get a filter and get clean water for your family.